Slaughterhouse Part 2 by Knocked Loose. I enjoyed Slaughterhouse, the first one. It's a motionless and white song featuring Brian from Knocked Loose. This one is a Knocked Loose song featuring Chris Motionless of Motionless and White. I have loved some moments in Knocked Loose. One of the songs I said was a masterpiece. What are we going to get today in this one? Let's find out. And go. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Epic. Okay, that's a call back to the first one. Yeah. Join the gaps where the guitar cuts through on its own. There he is. It's a big snare sound. Beefy chord progression. It's Chris. Nice. Yeah, yeah. This is sick. Okay. Coaster. His rhythm. <laughs> Woo! That was full on. Uh, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed the little callbacks to the, the, the Slaughterhouse One. That was fun. It definitely felt like a knock loose song. You know, it didn't feel like a, a, a motionless one. I love the way that that balanced out. Same kind of thematic stuff in there, but done in a very knock loose kind of way. And oh my god, it packed a punch. The drums are so outstanding for me. The sound they've got for their snare is phenomenal. That uh, just kong, it's kind of metallic, it's amazing. And I loved towards the end of that song where they let that breathe on its own. The riffs and everything went and then everything ducked down. It's just the snare on its own, like a punch in the face. <laughs> Incredible. Some great beat downs, you know, some really interesting chord progressions in that. Unexpected at times, twists and turns, kind of, kind of almost theatrical in storytelling. What the guitars were doing, uh, which is kind of fun. The motionless, uh, Chris motionless uh, feature, I thought was was great. It was nice to have a different voice in there. I do like when Not Loose have a different voice to bounce off. You know, maybe that's what I enjoyed so much about Poppy's one. It gives me a little bit of relief from that generally same note of the high scream uh, that Brian does. Though I do think I'm starting to. 
warmed to it a little bit. I'm starting to get used to the sound of his scream vocal. Um, it sort of depends on the song and the moments, but in this one, because it's such a relentless <laughs> onslaught, uh, it really suits when you have that kind of shrill scream vocal. So that was pretty fun. Now, what do I do here? Because, oh, ah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you where I am. I'm in here. I'm somewhere in here. I thought it was good. I, I enjoyed the whole thing, actually. And I'm looking forward to hearing that again with the expectation of when some of those drops happen. Because uh, that, like, one mutilation under God thing, for example, it was a callback to the previous one, but there was a break before the last word of God, and that was cool. It was unexpected. I'm looking forward to knowing that break's coming so I can hit the, the breakdown with the right headbang. Was it as impactful as the first Slaughterhouse when I first heard that? I don't know. That was, you know, I kind of, it was within the realm of what was expected from this. Some moments were elevated beyond. Uh, really torn. Really torn. Fuck it. It was a roller coaster ride. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I want to hear that again. It's fucking insane. Very heavy, wonderful crunchiness to some of those low uh, guitar chords that happened in there. I need to hear it again, really, but I enjoyed it. At no point was I not enjoying it, I'd say. Yeah, fuck it. Delicious. I enjoyed that. <laughs> I, j I, I can feel it happening. I feel myself getting used to that voice, which is really surprising because I wasn't sure that was ever going to be possible. I don't mind it sparingly. And maybe, maybe that's where it is. With this song and the one with Poppy, I think the balance of quantity of that, that vo vocal um, was in a better realm for me. And that helps me find it delicious because the music's fucking fun. Drums sound great. It's a fun ride. Well done, Knocked Loose and Chris Motionless for that slice of madness. <laughs> 